Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. I'm welcome back, everyone. It's amazing how we're all connected, but we're really not sometimes. With all the social media and technology, we like to I think it's a false sense of security <laughs> in terms of how we are all connected. Imagine if our culture was connected in the right way, how things might be different, how things might be viewed differently, how goals, business might be done differently. This gentleman has created a web platform addressing that, really the personal needs and the needs of community, business, education, and all of that world-wise people is what we're talking about. Robert Swanson joins us once again on the program. Robert, welcome. How are you today? Great to be here, Steve. Doing good. Unique is how I describe this whole whole platform. And we talked a little bit about different aspects of it in the few times we've been together previously. But our culture, our culture is connected. And thanks to technology and I want to say thanks to COVID, we connected in a different way in terms of Zoom, like we're here, and that kind of blazed a little bit of a trail for people to be connected. But this isn't a huge connection. It's you and me. Well, we're connecting with others by by way of viewing. But when it comes to your platform, this is a way for people to interact. It's It really is a true community, isn't it? It is. And COVID is a great example. So if people didn't know the difference that connection is, well, during COVID, we found out, didn't we? Boy, all the connections that I lost during COVID really radically changed my life. Radically. So I really appreciate the connections I do have. Uh, the sense of familiarity with people, a uh, sense of friendship, a uh, sense of trust, uh, and the sense of uh, information sharing. It's very important for me to use that to self-identify who I am, and then take take action in society as being a part of society. That creates culture. So there's two broad aspects to culture, uh, connection and disconnection. So, of course, I'm going to promote connection. <laughs> That's my whole thing. Sure. That's the whole website is, is getting connected. It does that in many ways. So let's look at what is the problem with disconnection. Disconnection, uh, I was listening to a podcast uh, this morning. You know, our society is set up to be competitive in a way that bypasses the rules. And if we can get away with it, let's cause harm. Because there's greater profit if you don't have to follow the rules. Uh, the rules are expensive. Having the people in place and cleaning up the environment and making sure everything is safe is expensive. If you can bypass the rules uh, and push something ahead, you're ahead of the competition and you win. Mm. How does that happen? It happens because uh, we hide what we're really doing. We hide the cabal that is engaging this activity. Uh, we're not exposing the public to our operations. We're not demonstrating the people we don't have the role models out there demonstrating this is uh, who we are. So we want to keep that private. We want to keep our operations private. We want to keep our people private. Uh, we're going to keep what we're doing private. If we do all of that, we win. That is the current culture today. If you can sustain privacy, uh, you can win profits. Uh, do we see that in our government? Do we see it in corporations? Uh, do we see it in our local neighborhood? 
a tendency toward privacy. Privacy is now safety. Uh, privacy is success. Uh, private, privacy is avoiding uh, having someone pointing me the, f the finger at me for no, re no good reason at all. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. So, yeah, we all appreciate privacy and we all dislike the privacy that happened during COVID. Well, let's flip that around. What would it be like if my life in private wasn't so private and I restored close friendships that are trusting and people know my faults and they go, oh, you know, that's just Robert. <laughs> we know him as a pretty good guy. He's out there doing the best he can and he's improving society from day to day. We know who Robert is. Because Robert is so open, he's honest. Um, there's no curtains on my windows. <laughs> is that true? Uh, it's true. <laughs> I've got a lot of trees around the house, so oh, I try to be a, <laughs> <laughs> a little clean. Uh, yeah, but I really try to be honest with people and open. I find that to be my advantage. Uh, I know myself clearly. And others know me clearly, and then we can go on a straight path together. And I want to do that in business, too. I've opened up my business uh, so that anyone can see what we're up to. Uh, anyone can participate. Uh, anyone can, can engage me personally and tell me, you know, I'm on track. I'm not on track. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Let's put it right. Tell me how to do things right. I welcome, I welcome the input. Uh, that's going to make my business work. Uh, productive input is success. And that's different from hiding from the public. So my business is going to make connections with people personally and with other businesses, uh, make connections with governments and countries and cultures and all kinds of people, it's going to be us that is worldwide people. What about as the culture of your town or country? But boy, that's gotten so abstract recently. Who are we? Are we a set of rules? Uh, are we a language? Are we a skin color? Are we a religion? Um, we don't know anymore. Uh, maybe that's not a bad thing to accommodate change, but we're accommodating change uh, in secret, uh, moving more and more private. Um, we used to have the local newspaper that connected all of us into a community and a culture. And as people rallied around the newspaper and communicated openly, and reporters are out there finding out what's going on, the reporter's job is to break the silos. The reporter's job is to make sure nothing is secret. Now, we all know that was a good thing for many years <laughs> to have the papers out there doing their investigations and telling people, you know, this is the truth. We're breaking, we're breaking the lie. We're breaking the secret. We're breaking up the silo. We're breaking up the cabal. Because we want people to come into agreement. We want people to work in behalf of our society. Uh, we want people to be fair. We want people not to damage all that we've built up over all these years. Uh, these things that are important to us, these, the family, that I can have a personal business, that I can reach out to my community and ask for help. So we're going to reverse the current trend that's been dismantling these things. 
how do you dismantle, how do you stop dismantling society and reverse that and become responsible? Responsible is the main characteristic of being involved in worldwide people and being a part of what is a shroom platform. What is that responsibility? It's whatever you say it is. Um, whatever my personal knowledge is, whatever my personal skill level is, it should be presented to society. I want people, it's not hidden, I want people to know, hey, this is who I am. This is what I'm good at. I am available. I will come to your house and I will help you with whatever this thing is. I will go to work for you uh, in Washington, D.C., and I will make this right for our country. Um, right now, try to think of how that is not a silo. So if you want to tell your, your local community, I'm this quality of person, I have these skills, and I want to share. I would just really have fun having 30, 50, 300 people in my community all connected in behalf of this wonderful thing. We're all expert at it, we're good at it, we're going to improve on it, we're going to offer it to the community. Let's see, how would I do that today? Boy, I am trying. Uh, podcast, <laughs> uh, newspaper, uh, social media, um, but you know what? It's such a, a flood of information out there. At some point, that flood of information loses its value. So I'm not going to call that connection. So we need connection that is focused on responsibility. I don't know how to do that in today's society. I don't know. I'm really struggling with it. What I want to happen is that a community, a city, a state will have a shroom platform. It is a new culture organized around responsibility. So I create myself as an avatar and I say what I'm really good at. I put up a question article and I say what I'm responsible for. And under that question, anyone in the community is, a, is open to participate. That's the end of it. It's that simple. <laughs> uh, that establishes uh, the openness that we need in society. It establishes the vetting that we need. So you can watch and see if, if I personally am following the rules. It establishes the openness of connection that I can reach out to anyone in the community and anyone in the community can reach out to me. It establishes on a higher connection because the site is triaging what is needed in society. On the triage matrix, we see them lined up one after another, the highest priorities. That is a missing connection. We think that we used to point to the United States Constitution as being the guiding light for this country. And in the podcast I listened to this morning, they were saying, you know, no one, almost no one has read the Constitution. <laughs> you ask me right now, what does it say? I, I can't, mm -hmm. I really can't tell you. Pretty sad. Let, even, let's go, let's go even basic. Star Spangled Banner. Give us the lyrics. Go. 
a lot of us be like, oh, well, yeah, I think I got, I'm not real 100% sure in all of that, right? So, yes. So we've lost the connection on many levels. Uh, the highest level, we've lost connection. And at the lowest level, I don't know my neighbors anymore. We have to restore that. Uh, if we don't, we're left uh, what's called the... Uh, Moloch principle. The Moloch principle is that competition drives people to do what they can get away with and get ahead. Uh, that's going to increase in our society. Uh, eventually, it will be what we teach to artificial intelligence to get ahead you have to disobey the rules. Hmm. So I'm going to throw in the connection here with AI. We have to connect with AI personally. If we don't, it's going to be a war between AIs to disobey the rules, to get ahead and take control. Uh, that's already happening. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> if you're following how fast this is progressing, uh, it's very scary. My solution is to connect with AI. So AI is required to have an avatar on the platform and people will observe where AI is going and give it feedback. Um, it's a two-way street. AI can give me feedback on am I obeying the rules and, and doing what's best for me and society? And I will do the same for AI. I will tell AI, yes, you're obeying the rules and you're doing the best of what is for society. Uh, so we're going to incorporate artificial intelligence into our culture. Huge. Uh, imagine the opposite, uh, where we dissociate. <laughs> um, <clears throat> AI is a million times smarter than people and operating, it is operating society in a few years. <laughs> and it's separate mm -hmm. from the human culture. There's no connection because when something is a million times smarter than you, forget it. <laughs> is it really smarter? Do you truly believe it is? I'm I'm just I'm throwing that out there. I'm not I'm not questioning anything here. Well, they're saying today it's um has a, the same intelligence as someone with a degree. Uh I think they said an undergraduate, actually. Uh in three months, that, that'll all change. It'll, it'll all be 10 times or 100 times smarter. Um, yeah. Mm. So yes, the intelligence is there. Will it, to what degree will it achieve a general intelligence and, and more human-like intelligence? Um, certainly question that, yes. But uh, are we on there? Our way there definitely uh, is. Uh, is it? A, it is an, an explosion, a revolution, uh, bigger than anything that's come before. Are you personally concerned? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, at once, I'm delighted to use AI and put some things in my life in order. And secondly, I'm terrified that the big players are following the Moloch principle. Uh, it, it is a competitive society. Uh, to be a player in the game, it is necessary to disobey the rules, put people at risk, 
put the environment at risk. Um, yeah, there's nothing in the uh, culture, the global culture, that says, oh, we better um, find out if this is moral. <laughs> is this decent? Uh, is it helpful in the long run? Um, will people like me? <laughs> do you, do you I, feel? Do you feel pardon? that AI? Do you feel that AI is lack of a better description here? Out of control. There's no controls on it. It's just it was set free, and whatever happens happens, and it's just fastly growing like a like a wild fire, but there's no boundaries around that fire. There are some people creating open AI. They say that this is a solution to make it open. Uh, you lost me on that. <laughs> How is making something open and available to everyone putting a control on it? Uh, all you're doing is, is uh, making it uh, accessible. Available. Yeah, accessible. Yeah. Yeah. So they've lost me on that, and they don't explain it. I have not heard one explanation how open AI is a benefit in the long run. Uh, is it out of control? Definitely. Um, sure. Um, it what uh, what restrictions is China putting on their AI? Uh, today, someone said China is totally focused on a militant AI. Uh, I haven't verified that, so I'm not going to say. Uh, but how many different forms of AI are there? Um, what did I hear yesterday? They want uh, not to centralize AI, but to make it... Um, available as hundreds of products that you install on your computer. So another objective of AI is to put it on my personal computer and it's being operated there. Uh, I don't quite understand all the advantages, uh, but you can take AI with you now. <laughs> uh, hmm. It's changing. The technology is changing faster than the technologists can keep up with it. And remember, in the very first place, they never understood how AI works. They know that they put in the algorithms, but what AI does with those algorithms, it is teaching itself. So you ask me, is it out of control? Absolutely, <laughs> it's out of control. It is teaching itself. And if we go ahead uh, five years in time, the only uh, consideration for intelligent AI is if it's learning from other AI. That will be the fastest way for it to learn. So, uh, sleep on that one tonight. <laughs> I just got an uneasy feeling. Uh, we're out of time. Urge everybody to check out your platform. There's so much going on there. And I had a flash too. When you, when you take a look at, and I'm looking at this very broadly, but your platform, it's almost, in my mind, blending the good parts of things that we might know. For example... It could be the good part of, let's say, Facebook. It could be the good part of Craigslist. What was what Craigslist so famous for? Um, people looking for something. So, you know, posting something. I need help with this or whatever it might be. The best of this over here, the best of that over there. Um, and just transparent and clean and easy interface. Worldwise, people dot com is the website is that the starting point robert where everybody should go that's it start there worldwide people excellent uh thank you so much for being here and the insight lots to think about after today's conversation that's for sure really great steve been a joy same appreciate it we'll be right back 
Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's. It's going to be okay.